My name is Jesus Manuel Valenzuela, and uh, my brother Valente Valenzuela, in 2009, we received the flag removal from this country. For this country to treat our family, the Valenzuelas, this way, this marina, have to be allowed, I don't take it lightly. I was, we were treated like, on the way back, this disgraced and everything, and then to be thrown away. When uh, we joined the service, uh, nobody questioned our integrity or citizenship and our desire to fight for our country. And um, that's one of the things that um, Manuel and I, we have been fighting for for years, that uh, to be treated as equals. And uh, we don't want no special treatment. Most of us committed a mistake that we paid for, and we believe we should pay for the mistakes that we made. But also, we believe we should be treated like any other veteran after we pay for our um, uh, our faults to society. And um, it's just that, like Manuel said, we have been trying to get Congress to establish some laws to prevent this injustice. There has been numerous uh, bills introduced in Congress. Uh, thanks to Manuel uh, going to Congress, I've been with him a couple of times, uh, and nothing ever gets done. Our immigration laws are backwards. In this country, it is legal to deport U.S. veterans. It is legal to separate children from their parents at the border. This is nonsense. This is heartless. And this does nothing to protect our national security or further our American values. And we cannot say thank you for your service and turn around and deport veterans. It's shameful and it's wrong. It's long, long overdue for common sense immigration reform that matches our values and our economic needs. We need a pathway to residency, we need a pathway to citizenship, and we need to ensure that all veterans have the benefits and services that they've earned and deserve, and to treat all immigrants fairly and humanely. Our country is better than this, and it's on all of us, all of us, to recognize these failures and to work together to fix these problems and right these wrongs. And we really need to get the Latino vote and really get, get out and vote.